I'm Gabby Gamis, art therapist and founder of Annie Creative Studio for Wellness. And we are bringing you today a segment sponsored by the McNay Art Museum along with Mind Science. Art making is a great source for reflection, self-expression, stress reduction, brain health, and overall wellness. So join us today in this segment as we walk outside the beautiful gardens of the McNay Art Museum and search for natural objects. I want to invite you to be mindful of your space as you're walking out in nature and you're collecting any source that speaks to you today. For this experience, you'll need a little bag to collect your found objects and the outdoors. However, if you choose to use purchase natural materials, you can do so as well. Today I will be combining a little bit of both. Let's go for a walk. Welcome back. I hope that was an enjoyable walk. Let's see what we find. Taking advantage of this beautiful space and being right now outdoors in nature, I'd like to invite you to start by setting an intention of what we are about to do. We will be creating something that feels safe and comforting to us through these art materials that nature provided us today. Take a moment to close our eyes. Allow the fresh air to touch your body, your hair, your hands. Lifting our left hand, we're going to put it on our heart and our right hand is going to feel our stomach. Let's take a deep breath in. Be aware of how your belly rises as the air travels in. Pull the air and slowly release. Relax your arms as they're pressing on your chest and your stomach. Let go of the tension that might be on your fingers and set those hands loose and free. Take a deep breath in. And as we're breathing out, I'd like to invite you to keep going, keep bringing that air out. Even if you feel there's no air left, push with a last exhale and allow yourself to hear that exhale loud and clear. Here we are, ready to create. As we pull out all our materials from the bag, we're taking a moment to admire the beauty, the color, the texture. Perhaps some of them still contain a smell. Within our creation, I have a question for you. What does a safe place look like for you using your nature objects found objects we will be creating a safe place You can spend as much or as little time as you desire. This is, can be an ongoing process. This can be a mark making that you leave behind. 
You can choose to recreate it as many times as you want. And I hope that you are really allowing yourself to place pieces unintentionally, allowing yourself the freedom to just let go and observe the beauty you've created through what nature has gifted us. Our hands are extremely powerful and our hands can create beauty. Within us relies beauty. We are one with nature and this experience has allowed us to connect back with nature. I invite you to take a moment to process what just happened today during your creation experience. How was your mood before the walk? How is your mood now? What does this piece symbolize to you? If you can provide a name for your piece, what would it be called? Looking at our piece even more closely, is there an area that provides more comfort and safety and peace to you? Where would you like to be in here in this piece? Perhaps you wouldn't like to be in it. When we create art, art reveals a message for us. So as we're creating, if we really want to dive in deeper and have an experience of awareness or self-reflection, I invite you to make these questions. Creating for the sake of creating is beautiful and therapeutic, but perhaps we want to get to know a little bit more about ourselves. Perhaps we want to feel like our experience in making art is providing us or gifting us with a little bit more than just a therapeutic moment. I hope this experience was relaxing and enjoyable for you. Until next time.